Hello everyone and welcome to, the, to today's content creator discussion from Cass on the Fly on our YouTube channel. First of all, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching and thank you for indulging in all this great, valuable content of information. It's very important to know we are in a, a war zone on the platforms and it's hard to get through to you on the actual goings on of what is actually going on as the world is living in a state of denial what's actually going on. The selfishness of our content creators is absolutely out of control. They have no professionalism. They have nothing to educate you on. This is coming from somebody who in the early 90s to 2020s was in a constant lesson of life of learning from those who came before me in education from Baron Baptiste Yoga to uh, programs of self and de developmental professionalism work and then being able to see what the shift is in the conversation of what's actually going on what's instead of what's being portrayed of what's going on. Not only what's being portrayed of what's going on, but the state of mind that you all are in while watching these folks try to educate you on nonsense bullshit. Pretend monks, pretend doctors, uh, plastic surgery nightmares, celebrity Hollywood females who are extremely out of control with their mindset. Insecurity, teaching insecurity, fueling insecurity and jealousy. That's the state of mind of the entire world, leaving the entire world in a great depression, while men go on their platform and bash Oprah Winfrey because she has a new book out called Be Happy. Having watched Oprah my entire life, my entire life, since I was a child, we'd come home from school. She was in Chicago, likely at that time when she went national. We started watching Oprah Winfrey. And the educational pieces that she had on her show. And she earned every ounce of money that she earned. And along her journey, she educated people on how to grow their businesses how to do for yourself what she did for herself. She educated on spirituality. And now we have content creators who have 100,000 plus followers, unless they're all bots, who have an opportunity to, to grow businesses with 100,000 customers at a dental office. You're like a billionaire. So he goes on his platform and spends time speaking about Oprah Winfrey and saying uh, she's manipulating the masses. No, she's educating you children on how you're behaving and trying to do it with empathy and compassion. However, I'm really not sure how you're capable and able to do that because they are completely psychotic. These are like wild, worse than wild animals. This is just pure meanness that the Democratic Party is fueling as an opportunity for votes. Meanwhile, the content they're creating has no educational purpose to an audience except fueling gossip and pain in an audience while they run to the bank with their 100,000 followers proclaiming that they're poor. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to be relatable to the person who has no followers and no money when they're not relatable to them at all. They live in a whole new world of demonic state of mind and they've attempted to transform people's minds into thinking that they are pedestal on a pedestal for an audience to say, it's like looking at someone and going, wow, you're so right. Without freedom to choose. 
And he's a man. Well, the government paid him to do that. The government's paying these folks to take out individuals who no longer want to be part of the, the Democratic Party. Do you understand that? Meaning we've got forced celebrities being forced to go to tennis matches of the U.S. Open and then be all like uh, actor-like. <gasps> wow, wow. Because if you recall a couple years ago, the U.S. Open was struggling financially. Meaning it was actually thinking about closing. See, they forget that the past was reported and then they don't think about the people in the, in the present actually having a brain on their shoulders. However, I pay attention and I watch everything of what you're up to and then I have a mental clarity to go back in time to see what you were posting and educating an audience on. So not only can we see what the content creators are doing to Hollywood, but we can see what is being done to Hollywood. And then, and then within Hollywood, Hollywood's trying to compete with content creators. So they're now trying to take out content creators who are trying to expose them for who they really are. However, they're getting their messages crossed on who the bad ones are and who the good ones are. However, the good ones are doing good things like taking donations and then giving some of their money to those folks, which is how it's done. And then the bad ones are calling out the good ones for taking do donations and giving millions of dollars. Meanwhile, these same individuals are forced to do things they don't wanna do and then we've got content creators running around acting seductively with no education or professionalism at all. However, you're acting like they're intelligent. Or at least you act like you're acting like they're intelligent because you know they have uh, 100,000 followers. However, they pay for those followers. So they're not actually real followers. There's been studies to show that individuals of celebrity will pay for fake followers to show that they're worthy of being followed. Which means that they have a clan of bots on their platform to go on other people's platforms to comment nasty things. Kim Kardashian invented the process. She's like a lead. Anyone who's part of reality television thinks they live in a reality television world. All they do all day long is think about ways to gossip and create a gossip train to destroy people's lives. That's all they do all day. They have nothing else to do. They don't even take care of their own kids. They got nannies for that. They don't clean their house. They don't go to the gym. They go get fittings at Fashion Week and then walk outside erotically, clumsily actually, and then act like that's valuable content to an audience. And for some reason, you're why would you be drawn to that? This is a question for you. Why are you drawn to watching a woman walk down a set of stairs? What's so intriguing about that and what's educational about that? And how does that help you evolving your business? How does that help you grow as a person? And why don't you have a desire to grow as a person? Where's that go gone to? That's the real question we need to ask. Why are you not willing to take a look at yourself and grow as a person? Why is it that no one cares about each other any longer? What in the machine has created this new mindset in our minds that we don't like people? Nobody likes people. They're pretending to like people. Why don't we like people anymore? Why are you all so evil?
Why are people so control hungry? What is it in that that gives them the power? The pretend power. Why are men accepting those women's behavior as normal behavior? When they have children, why are they accepting it? Why are people paying for Kim Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian? And why are people tuning in to Khloe Flowers' podcast when she has nothing to say? When they have nothing to talk about? What subliminal messages are keeping you going back? And why can't you connect to the reality of what's going on here? I just gave you a long story yes, last night about what's actually going on with the Democratic Party, yet here we are again in the same round table of you all misbehaving and no one doing anything different than you did the day before. I take new actions, you do the same thing, over and over and over. Meaning, Mona Van is plotting and planning to post more photos with Gary Vaynerchuk. The same shit's going to go down in three weeks where I get fucking pissed off and I make content as that's against Gary V. You know I do that every month. You know I do that shit every month. I use it as an example of what it's like to grow on a platform with someone who is not being who they say they're going to be for me. Yet you do the same thing every month and you know I'm going to do the same thing every month and your mind goes back to the same thing every single month. Yet you know I do the same thing every month and I know that you're going to do the same thing every freaking day. What would put a shift in a communication effort from somewhere, from someone, from something. Because I cannot do this shit by myself. And that means the audience has to do something. They have to change. They have to have a desire to change. They have to realize they're living in, de in denial and they only give a shit about sex. Sex is just something we do to have children. Although y'all created as the orgasm is the only reason why we're here. You all invented that. Y'all don't understand the real reason why you're here is to help people. As in to help people. You all are mentally ill folks. The fact that you can even look at yourselves and say that there are more than two genders is the most mind-blowing existence I've ever in my entire creation have ever understood. This is some insane ass thinking and you as adults agree to the fact that these kids are thinking they're in pronouns. They and them, that's called schizophrenia. Multiple personality disorders. Democratic parties responsible, the House of Representatives and the Senate run the country, not even Joe Biden or Kamala. They don't, none of them know that. So it's a group of individuals barking orders and back and forth at each other, getting absolutely nothing done with our borders open. While our citizens are at risk for unsafe uh, living experiences for their kids. Hundreds of thousands of immigrants are in this country, which are affecting us on a daily basis, and the government doesn't care. So why should we pay taxes when you're not doing your job? Why are you collecting a salary when you're not doing your job? Why are you hosting UFO conferences and making deals with UFO alien shits and not helping Americans while working with Obama CIA. We know you're lying. Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton have all talked about UFOs. 
But this is different. This is like the demonic state of what uh, working with aliens is like. This is why you're dealing with sex on the brain all the fucking time. Sex looking at your baby's vagina, kids. Your dads and your moms are looking at a baby's penis and a baby's vagina and you have sex thoughts and you know you do. You're just keeping it quiet because you're working with aliens. That's how out of control this shit is. That's what Mona Van is producing. That is what Mona Van is attempting to add into society is more child trafficking while wearing a baby dress and then a titty bouncing shirt and then a wedding dress as if baby sex is normal. And then the Democratic government forces Gary Vaynerchuk to stand there and pose with a smile on his face at another boring ass party when all he's doing is with that book bag he's got in a computer typing up every day the bullshit that she's doing while she tries to take out the friends while she creates clean con so you want business growth with innovative ideas or you want clean con that's like common sense folks this is like beyond wanting to be talked to in a certain way you all are just mentally ill, unwilling to take a look at the fact of what your government is doing to you. Now, this isn't even unique to this country. Trudeau is up to it. The leader of Japan is up to it. The lady in Italy is up to it. They are all working together to take out American people and people that are in their countries. Australia is involved. We're in a cold war, folks. We are in a cold war. Do you understand what a cold war is? Did anyone go to, to school and learn history? A cold war is propaganda fueling the idea that Jewish people deserve to go to the gas chamber. BLM, cold war. Obama started the cold war. He utilized Hollywood to involve it. And we all know based on the looks of what their experience is, you never see any of them smile. Take a look at what movies are being produced. Take a look, take a listen to the type of music that's coming out of Olivia Rodrigo's mouth. What a piece of shit. A Disney Channel star who's a demonic being who is destroying babies' lives like Miss Rachel. Hello! Can you imagine? This is easy shit for me. I've been dealing with this shit now for six plus years and fighting it the entire way while you're all over there living in fear. Fuck them. Ooh, drama gossip, Kim Kardashian. Fuck you. I've been around these bitches in real life. They're nothing but a fart on the planet. That's their legacy. Um, yes, I'll have a Moscow meal. As they sit in their fancy outfits at the bar, doing nothing but talking garbage. No personality, nothing to share, nothing to say, nothing about them is worth being around, except for, look at how cool I am. Oh, you know, I'm going to go play a round of golf. These are all kids on the internet content creators. These are like worse than rich kids. Look at me. I can ride a, ride a paddleboard on behind a boat. Ooh, gee, that really helps me. That 
really helps me watch you and your skinny ass little twat wife kissing when you know you just got in a fight and you're already divorced. Just like Hugh Jackman. We're so surprised. You're surprised? Oh, okay, you're divorced. Congratulations. The new age of marriage is divorce, you dumbasses. The old days, it might have been a little more shocking and disappointing, especially since you thought Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell were actually in love. You had hope for someone in life to actually be happily ever after, to work out their problems, to know that life isn't perfect and that you had to go through struggles and that you couldn't live the fantasy life that you lived with overboard. Although that wasn't very romantic according to Goldie Hawn, but to me, I thought that was really fucking romantic. I thought the part where she took care of someone else's kids who didn't have a mom and he taught her how to be a real woman was really freaking romantic. No, but she just wanted to live on the yacht and, and eat caviar, which is baby eggs of a fish. So babies is what she likes to eat. That's the warped mind of the California rich which is now trying to transverse into my local community. Hollywood, New York City content creators, a psychosis of psychosis. So you wanna understand that I, I know uh, real love and I know real money with real love. Real love and real money where I live. As in like family and friendship and shit like that. And then I watch, I'm watching y'all evolve into this new shit of the rich and how psychotic it is. And how I know now why everyone liked to come to where I used to work because you actually used to get something for yourself that was more like human and you loved it. And you loved it. That's why you loved it so much. And then Philip Anschute came in and ruined it. He took it away from us. He stole it from us. And then he brought Jamaicans in to destroy your lives. And you didn't say anything. So I hope I gave you some insight. This is about insight and you, you discovering what you need to discover and the thing that's, things that you need to do to take action against this bullshit. Cause I just cannot, I like, what else do you want me to do? I, I tell you about uh, what the internet is. I tell you about how to in transform. I teach you yoga classes. I give you uh, videos that are kind. I give you videos that are not so kind. I give you videos of all different sorts of levels. And yet you still sit there with your thumbs up your ass, going to another stupid ass party, having to talk to some dumb ass person who acts like this shit ain't real. I literally tagged you in a freaking post on Twitter that I know you look at, Elon Musk. I went onto my Facebook account. I went onto my Instagram account, uh, Dwayne. Well, D Rock is working for the Democrats, just to let everybody know. He just came through. He's very weak. He's not very good at his job. So you want to know that uh, Tyler and D-Rock are the devil. Like, it's so funny because they think they're powerful, but they're really not powerful. And I'm warning you, Gary Vaynerchuk, they're, they're plotting and planning something against you. And I told you this from the time you were in Miami. It's called collusion. It's called corruption. That's called collusion and corruption. That's called insider trading. They belong in jail. There you have it. Thank you all so much. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day to spend this quality of 25 minutes. I probably won't download until tomorrow. Um, my, I have family in town, so I'm not sure I'll be able to post as much as I would like to in the next week. However, I will do my best to stay on top of reporting to you what these Democrats, as they try to assassinate me on a constant basis on film, well, y'all don't do anything. Although you do know that I'm still here and I keep doing it. So I'm really not sure what the whole point is. It's like ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's redonkulous. Remember that video I did with redonkulous?